Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to another episode of The Now Review. So join me as we go through, now that's what I call, electronic. Now this release when it was announced I was quite excited for, because to my knowledge now is not really done an electronic themed album. We've had a lot of, you know, dance of course and specific kinds of dance, but I don't think we've really had a specific electronic album. Now, when they just announced this before they announced the track list, I was thinking, you know, what kind of stuff is going to be on here. Um, when they actually released the track list, I was a bit surprised for the route they took, but I'll talk more about that as we actually go through it. But just looking at the cover here, I do like the little beams of light there. You've got beams in blue and sort of green and pink really going obviously with that electronic theme the font of the word electronic also matches it a sort of like techno-ish style font there and you can see at the bottom some of the artists i won't name all of them but some of them you've got on here you've got new order ultravox gary newman the human league eurythmics queen blondie and much much more but yeah really nice cover the blue and black sort of motif works really well so just moving this on over you can see this is in the cardboard style and now let's have a look at the all important track list Okay, so first of all, Radio Gaga, my queen. Now that is a classic. Uh, would it be a classic in the electronic genre? I mean, there is a lot of electronics used. Blue Monday by New Order, that should have been track one in my opinion. That is a true electronic classic, absolute banger. Love is a Stranger, I don't know if that's the rhythmic song I would have picked personally. Vienna by Ultravox, again, incredible electronic song there. Good, good choice. Fade to Grey by Visage. Not a lot of people talk about Visage, but I actually really enjoy Fade to Grey. Quiet Life by Japan, don't really know that one, not too familiar, maybe it's one of those I recognise when I hear it. Tainted Love by Soft Cell, again a true electronic classic, glad that's on here, banger of a song. The Sound of the Crowd by The Human League, again not one of theirs I'm overly familiar with. Planet Earth by Duran Duran, I know that's off their debut album, but again, was that the Duran Duran hit to pick? And To Cut a Long Story Short by Spandau Ballet, I think that was their debut single if memory serves, and again, a lot of electronics used in that. Just to nip over to CD2 for a sec, you have I Feel Love, the 12-inch version by Donna Summer. I guess a lot of people will be happy it's the 12-inch version, the extended version, the one that got really famous on the dance floor. I Feel For You by Chaka Khan. You're hearing a lot of adverts these days, but yeah, I guess in terms of electronics and synths, it is, it is quite, you know, up there. I O U by Freeze, Let The Music Play by Shannon, Fascinated by Company B. Not too familiar with these, so I'll be curious to check them out. Just Be Good To Me by the SOS Band. Now, that is a big song, one of my favourites. I Can't Wait by New Shoes, Automatic by the Pointer Sisters. I do like the Pointer Sisters. Again, though, was that the electronic hit to pick, maybe? Male Stripper by Man to Man. Gotta say, I'm not too familiar with that one. Jumping back to CD1, you have uh, Gary Newman with Cars, uh, Enola Gay by Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Yes, a very early 80s electronic hit, I suppose. Landscape with Einstein a Go-Go. Tears for Fears with Mad World. Uh, yeah, I guess that's a solid choice to represent Tears for Fears there after thinking about it. Temptation by Heaven 17, of course, big tune. Uh, Living on the Ceiling by Blank Mange. I feel I do know that song, but I'd have to listen to it again. Feels Like Heaven by The Fiction Factory, lovely song. The First Picture of You by The Lotus Eaters. Don't know that one by name, I've got to admit. So just jump to CD2, you've got Do You Wanna Funk by Patrick Cowley and Sylvester, Losing My Mind by Liza Minnelli, which of course is a cover of the Follies classic, Done Up by the Pet Shop Boys as well. Funny how the Pet Shop Boys themselves haven't made an appearance here, considering they're one of the most, if not the most successful electronic duo of all time. Uh, Eighth Wonder with I'm Not Scared, again, a song that was, I believe, produced for them by the Pet Shop Boys, which they then covered themselves, so funny that that's here and not them. Uh, An Emotion with Obsession, Living on Video by Trans X, Daz Band with Let It All Blow, uh, Harold Faltermeyer with Axel F, uh, which of course people of my generation might know better as being the, the crazy frog theme, and Close to the Edit by Art of Noise. Really glad that's here because that is a true electronic pioneer, definitely. So just to finish off CD1, you have A Flock of Seagulls with I Ran So Far Away, probably the most iconic hit certainly in America, and a great tune to boot as well, highly recommend you listen to that. And you also have Yellow with The Race, I'm surprised they didn't go for Oh Yeah or whatever it's called, I guess that's not really electronic, well The Race is a bit electronic I suppose. Then on CD2 you've got Malcolm McLaren with Buffalo Gals and Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson? Let me try that again. Joe Jackson with Stepping Out. So 20 tracks on CD1, 19 on CD2, so that's 39 tracks so far. 
So, CD3 kicking off with ABBA and Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. Um, surprisingly, ABBA on an electronic album, although I guess if you think about it, there is a lot of electronic stuff used, and you can probably see that's the theme of, of the album they're going for. I'll talk more about that a bit later. You've got uh, Blondie with Atomic, The Buggles with Video Killed the Radio Star, what a tune that is, Pop Music by M, I'm so glad that's here, I love pop music. Uh, 19 by Paul Hardcastle, absolutely deserves to be here. Uh, Falco with Rock Me Amadeus, the American edit. Um, I don't know if that should be on an electronic album, but hey, it's here. Uh, Phil Lynott with Yellow Pearl, the first 7-inch remix. Kim Wilde with Kids in America, lovely tune. Uh, Altered Images with Don't Talk To Me About Love. Aha uh-huh with Take On Me. That is a, you know, big 80s banger. Obviously, big use of synths in that. Just moving on to CD4 briefly. You've got uh, Dead or Alive with You Spin Me Round Like a Record, the performance mix. Of course, a very iconic song in its day. Uh, the Human League with Love Action, I Believe in Love. Propaganda with Dr. Mabuse or Dr. Mabuse. Um, the Cure with The Walk. Joy Division with Love Will Tear Us Apart, again, a very iconic tune. Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark again with Messages. Uh, Our Daughter's Wedding with Lawn Chairs. Really not familiar with some of these, but as I always say, I find that really exciting. It gives me, you know, a whole lot more new music to delve into. Back to CD3, you've got Philip Oakley and Giorgio Moroder with Together in Electric Dreams. I mean, it's in the title, but absolutely deserves to be here. Uh, Howard Jones with New Song, big tune that is. Nick Kershaw with Wouldn't It Be Good. Okay, stuff I'm more familiar with now. Lamar with Never Ending Story. Love On Your Side by the Thompson Twins. The Safety Dance with Men Without Hats. Surprised to see that here. Um, I Beg Your Pardon, I Never Promised You a Rose Garden by Con Can. I'm guessing that's a cover of the 70s original or whenever that was. I, I do love Rose Garden, so I'm going to have to listen to that. I'm hoping that's good. Uh, Peter Schilling has Major Tom coming home. I don't know if that's a, a cover. But uh, again, really curious to listen to some of these. Just jump to CD4. You have Iggy Pop with Nightclubbing. Bronski Beat with Small Town Boy. True electronic classic for sure. Erasure with Drama. Scritty Politti and Absolute. The Associates with Party Fears 2. Furniture with Brilliant Mind. Uh, Talk Talk with It's My Life. I absolutely deserves to be here, I think. Simple Minds with Glittering Prize. Uh, Swan Sway with Soul Train and just to finish things off on CD3 you've got Midger with If I Was one of his solo hits, China Crisis with Christian and Jan Hammer with Crockett's theme which I believe is from Miami Vice and actually did quite well over here and on CD4 to finish you have The Passions with I'm In Love With A German Film Star and finishing off with Soft Cell with Say Hello Wave Goodbye so 21 tracks on CD3, 18 tracks on CD4 so that's again 39 tracks bringing this total track list up to 78. So that was your track list of now that's what I call electronic, but before I just talk more about my actual thoughts on like the theming and some of the stuff they've included, as always, let's open this bad boy up, just see what we've got. So here's other albums that are available. Quite fittingly, they've included the 12-inch 80s and 80s extended. I mean, there's a lot of electronic hits on there, so that kind of makes sense. And they've also included the yearbook series, now 83 yearbook and now 84 yearbook. And, uh, well, at the time I'm recording this, in a matter of weeks, we'll also have now yearbook 82, which surprised everyone. So that's quite exciting. And you can also follow them on all the social medias as normal. And as you've come to expect by now, to help do their bit for the environment, we're not using plastic jewel cases. Uh, We're using this cardboard fold-out style. I've gotten used to it. I'm sure a lot of you have too. And the discs are in sort of a red or pink, blue, pink or purple, and green, sort of matching the colours of the cover. Really nice. So how does Now Electronic hold up? Well, again, I was a bit surprised at the track list. There's a lot of, like, mainstream songs on here, which Now tends to do, obviously, because they want people to buy it for the tracks they know. But my definition of electronic, I guess, was a bit more leaning into stuff that happened in the 90s with, like, electro or, like, you know, um, more, like, techno stuff or trance, uh, which they don't really lean into that much here. They seem to focus a lot on, like, the 80s era, so, like, the early days of electronic music, which is fine. I just think different people will get different terms from the term electronic. I mean, I certainly did. But I am happy with what's here. Again, a lot of big bangers from the 80s, a lot of recognisable songs. A lot of songs as well, as I said, I'm not too familiar with the titles. So I'll be excited to give this whole album a playthrough and go, oh, is that one I recognise or something I'm discovering for the first time? So I would actually recommend Now Electronic. It is a new theme for now. I always applaud Now when they go for new themes, when they're not just rehashing stuff they've done a million times before. But as always, I would recommend looking at the track list first, just so you don't get the wrong impression, just so you know what era of electronic music this is, which again, I'd argue is like the earlier days, so the early to mid like 1980s. But yeah, some some interesting choices. You can get it from all the usual places. You know, I got my copy from HMV. You can get it from place, you know, online retailers like Amazon. You might be looking in your local supermarket still. 
but yeah, all the usual retailers. And it's still going for about eight or nine pounds, I think, eight to nine pounds. So good prices these days for new now albums. But that is all for this installment of the Now Review. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, as always, please leave a like on this video. It does really help us out. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. That also really helps us out and would be very much appreciated. I've been Adam Martin from AMTV. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show. And a special thank you to Macra, Hooks Media, Ben Freeman, Ethan Carberry Holt, Bruce Danton, the Broken Kit Suminoid, to Bose Crotz, Globe of Reviews, Trev Hughes, Derek Chambers, Sean Nock, Bailey Green, and DSTV New Zealand, our AMTV staff members.